Holy shit, Smash Bros. 5! Let me ask you one simple question. Why do people like this series? Interesting and unique gameplay with an incredibly active community supporting it? Fuck no! What are you, stupid for a living? It's because you can play as this, and this, and this, and this! It's all about the characters, baby! It's always been about the characters! If you weren't around to experience the hype leading up to Smash 4's release, everyone and their grandma was going completely apeshit trying to guess who was gonna be in the final roster. Unsurprisingly, as you probably could have guessed, everyone was deadass wrong about everything because everyone, especially their grandmas, are fucking idiots! But you know who's not a fucking idiot? Me, the greatest Smash player to ever grace this godforsaken Earth! So while this topic is hotter than an emo kid on the surface of the sun, I'm gonna break down everything we know so far and tell you exactly who is going to be appearing in Super Smash Bros. 5. I'm a fucking genius, heed my word as gospel. The trailer begins with two Inklings running around and shooting at each other. Most people see this, say Inklings will be playable in Smash 5 and move on with their day, but to that I say, Come on, come on guys, how can you be so blind when you're staring right at the true meaning of this scene? Let's go over the facts. One, Inklings are already playable in Smash. They have been for years. They're not gonna put more of the same character into a single game. That's just the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Two, these Inklings have guns and bombs and other scary war things that are used to kill real life people. If you really think Nintendo would add that into a family friendly romp like Smash, you're a total jackass, kill yourself. Three, pay close attention to what's on screen right now. You have the color orange, blue, and white. Orange, blue, and white. Orange, blue, and white. Now tell me, viewer, what do we know that is orange, blue, and white? Yes, that's right, say it with me. Tide Pods! Tide Pods are confirmed as playable characters! The fact that so many of you are missing this groundbreaking announcement because you are just not intelligent enough to look a little bit below the surface makes me sick to my fucking stomach! Anyway, moving on, once the Inklings fight for a little bit, which I really dislike because I do not want to see either of them get hurt, we can clearly see the entire your background descend into darkness, and that can only mean one thing. A new fan favorite character will be for sure making his appearance, Dark Link. Think about this logically, okay? This trailer is about linking the Tide Pod universe to the Smash universe. Do you think it's a coincidence that the Link happened to go dark? Well, think again. Now this next one threw everyone for a loop, even me, and it comes from an outside source. On popular social media website Twitter.com, Dan Salvato, creator of Doki Doki Literature Club, dropped a bombshell that rocked the community. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Boom! That's right, Monica. Monica will be in Smash 5. Now, what's actually really interesting about this reveal is the history behind it. Back in December of 2017, Sakurai himself tweeted out, Hey guys, I just watched PewDiePie play Doki Doki Literature Club. It was epic and awesome. I want to put my big giga wiener in her gash kissing emoji. Nobody could have guessed that this was a secret message confirming her months in advance, but now it all comes together and makes perfect sense. Going Going back to the trailer, we start getting into the real juicy stuff where characters are confirmed left and right. Literally, the scene switches to two close-up shots of shadowy figures. Now, the internet is on fire trying to figure out the identities of these two, but again, the proof is right here in the pudding, guys. Tell me, what landmark game was announced to be ported to the Switch right before Smash 5's reveal? That's right. Undertale. Two figures are shown back to back as a duo, you could say. Now, who do we know from Undertale that is always together as a duo? People, open your eyes and see the truth. Sans and Papyrus. This is 100% Sans and Papyrus being shown. I cannot fucking wait to bone some people with these two. Oh my god. Okay, so after seeing Sans and Papyrus, we're treated to this shot right here, which is the real meat and potatoes that has everyone losing their minds. We got a bunch of characters lined up in a row just waiting to be identified, and by god, that's what I'm gonna do. There's a lot to unpack here, so we'll be going left to right in a lightning round. Try to keep up. We got Cool Spot, the 7-Up mascot from Hit SNES video game Cool Spot, and also 7-Up the drink, a traffic cone from Traffic, Doge the Meme Dog, Mario and Luigi, but as Siamese twins, a pretty bold step for Nintendo, Cardboard Boy from Nintendo Labo, Pepsi Man, the coolest soda mascot around, uh, Quagsire, 
Fire, Kermit the Frog, a stick, an olive, Vegeta from Dragon Ball, Goku is never getting in, Aaron Hansen from Game Grumps, uh, the Michelin Tire Man, Godzilla, and finally we got, we got Marth. That one's, that one's just Marth. So there you have it. There is the reveal trailer picked and analyzed for your convenience. Now, of course, what we see isn't all of what we're gonna get. There are gonna be more characters announced leading up to Smash 5's release, so now I wanna go ahead and tell you exactly who those characters are gonna be. First, I think the most obvious addition that we all saw coming from a mile away is every single Fire Emblem character. Uh, we've seen Fire Emblem slowly creeping in more and more with every game, but I think Smash 5 is really gonna be the cornerstone where Sakurai says, you know what, fuck it, just put them all in, who cares? Spongebob. Everybody loves a little Spongebob action. He's one of the most widely beloved characters of all time. No ifs, ands, or buts, he's coming in. Doodlebob. Okay, you know, you've got your Mario and your Wario, you got your Luigi and your... I was gonna say Waluigi, but everyone knows he'll never, ever, ever get in. But anyway, I'm sure we're going to see Spongebob versus Doodlebob. It's an age-old conflict the world needs to see, and Nintendo knows it, they're gonna deliver. Waluigi. Uh, I, I changed my mind. They're, they're gonna put Waluigi in there. The line piece from Tetris. One of the most popular games ever. You need the best character to make an appearance. It's simple as that. Uncle Jesse. Everyone remembers Full House Tournament Fighter for the SNES. It's an iconic fighting game that changed the way the world looked at gaming forever. Uh, gotta put Uncle Jesse in there. Gotta put him in. The bird from Spyro that says, Trouble with the trolley, eh? Fuck that bird, massive piece of shit. Welcome to Smash. Reimu Hakure, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, they're only adding her because Toho fans are extremely ravenous and lose their goddamn minds whenever their hobby is talked about anywhere, so that's guaranteed. And finally, the last character that will be announced in Smash 5 is... me. It's, it's me, Ouija the God. Uh, Nintendo actually reached out to me since they like my work so much, and they promised to put me in the game. I wasn't supposed to tell you that, but you know what? I like you guys more than Nintendo, so I don't even care, bro. And there it is, every single character that's gonna be in the new Smash game. I'd like to just go on record as stating that if I'm wrong about a single one of these characters, I will tattoo a cock and balls directly onto my forehead, but the balls will be the Smash balls. That That is that is a Ouija the God promise right there. Do make sure to share this video around with other Smashers while you have the chance. Uh, there's a pretty high chance Reggie fils himself will come to my door and shoot me in the head. Uh, they probably don't want all this information coming out, but again, damn it, I, I gotta do what I gotta do do, you know? And if you disagree with anything I've said in this video, uh, fuck you. Just fuck you. All right, there it is. So thanks for watching. How to Sands is coming sometime in 2018. I'll see you all then. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What? Don Donkey, Donkey made basically the same exact video just yesterday. Like the same as this. What? Fuck!